My guest here in Auckland is Rebecca Ramone, who is one of the facilitators for Solutions. Rebecca, thanks so much for joining us. Now, what is Solutions? Solutions is a program that, um, that is run out of Calvary. Calvary Community um, offer this program for Grace. And Grace Foundation is um, people that come to us and they stay in our homes. Um, they have various backgrounds um, and some of them are just, um, they come from either corrections, um, homeless, or some of them are just mental health. But they're people that have no homes to go to. Right, and when you say from other corrections, you're saying prison, right? Yes, they've been incarcerated for some time. Okay, so so what does Solutions do? What solutions does Solutions provide for these people? Well, the people that are with us, they've done numerous programs when they've been incarcerated in prison. Yeah. They've, they've been told to um, help them with their alcohol addictions or whatever it is, or drug addictions or abuse or violence. Um, and so the program is all about God's solutions. Mm. How, how can they engage God, the Creator, into dealing with their demons that they're trying to overcome? Mm. Mm. So in a secular country like New Zealand, you're allowed to talk about God with these people? Absolutely not. Yeah. Absolutely not. Hence, um, it's very difficult to get funding from, from any government providers or any funding agencies. Yeah. Um, and that's why we're so grateful for ADRA. Um, because they understand the God factor and how important it is. Yes. Um, so, yes. Excellent. Rebecca, how long have you been working with this ministry? Um, with the Solutions Program, Grant and I came on board um, September last year. Um, but um, we've been in Grace, working for Grace, which is a community arm of Calvary, um, for a number of years, for about four years now. Wonderful. So Grant was leading... Um, what, what we saw happening here this morning, and he was doing group activities, and what, what sort of values is he trying to teach there? Well, it's all of them come to us and they don't know each other, so they lack trust. Right. Um, so all the group activities um, tries to encourage them to mix and mingle with each other, to communicate, and that it's all right to make mistakes. And yeah, you saw this morning, they, they actually have a good laugh. Yeah. Mm. Can you share an experience with me of, of how this, ministry this um, is, is connecting with people has touched somebody's life? Oh, it's because it's a what supposedly a 15 week program, we have people that come to us at different stages. So some of them come to us at the very beginning of the program and others because they have other conditions and commitments with the government and so they get to leave us on the early stages. So the actual program itself is really essential that we don't go from week one to week 15 going through a curriculum per se, but each lesson, because we don't know whether they're going to be with us for the entire time or whether they're going to leave us. So we try to instill in them the values of being able to connect and engage with God. Mm -hmm. um, and we've had a few people that have only come to us for a couple of weeks and left. However, they ring, they contact us. If they go back to prison because they've got to serve their term, that's what the judge said, then they ask us to come back and visit them. So this solutions program is absolutely crucial because they, they come from a society that has been pressured by their peers and families. Um, and when they engage with God, then they get to realize that there's a bigger power there that's willing to help them. And of course, God uses anyone. Yeah. So, Rebecca, why aren't you just preaching at these people? Um, well, God created us as creative beings, and there's different ways of learning. Um, some of the people that we have are illiterate, so we can't just preach to them. Um, we've got to use various different um, means of delivery. Um, and both Grant and I have teaching backgrounds, which is a bonus in the sense that it's not just the spoken word, it's engaging them, it's giving them something tangible. They're given homework if they do it, they don't, you know. Um, but we give them a whole range of things that they can to engage God. Mm. So it almost sounds like you're describing Christ's method of ministry. Absolutely. Yeah, wonderful. Absolutely. Now, when you look at your time spent here, is there any person, a man or a woman, who sticks in your memory as being a significant encounter that you've had? Oh, everyone has a story. So if you were to pinpoint anyone in the room and pull them out, they'll be quite happy to tell their story. Um, we've had people that have been with us since last year. I think of um, a young woman by the name of Jessie Javis. 
Um, she's moving on to another program that she has to do. Um, she's engaging with her children in which she wasn't allowed to before. Um, we have a young woman that's here called Amanda Zoe Reed. Um, she's of Caucasian um, um, background. Um, she was disowned by her family. We met her in prison. Um, she's got a story and her and her partner Tarquin as well. I think of Tana who's been with us for a few weeks um, and his, his girlfriend is here as well. Um, they all have encountered God in different ways and forms, only because they didn't know he was there. Now they realize Jesus is real. Um, they say to us, you know, if Jesus can hear you, he'll hear us. And it's been their experience too. Mm. So Rebecca, what does it mean to you to be involved in this sort of ministry? How, how does it make you feel to be involved? Oh, I'm absolutely honored. I'm humbled. I'm humbled that um, that Grant and I can do this together as a team um, in our various um, walks of life. We've worked in different organisations for many years, but for us to work as a team um, and just winning souls, you know, the Bible, the, you know, the word is, uh, tells you the wisest people is winning souls, and we thought we were wise before, but um, to actually see, you know, God changing people who are willing to be changed, it just humbles us, um, yeah. Well, thank you so much for what you're doing here in Auckland. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah, thank mm. you. And viewers at home, please pray for Rebecca, pray for Grant, pray for the team in this holistic ministry, ministering to people who have been broken in many different ways, families that have been broken, and bringing the restoration and the healing that can only come through Jesus Christ. Mm.